go to jail and earn a college degree. That's the idea behind a program being pushed before the state legislature. Supporters say partnering two-year degree programs with inmates would actually save money. Meg Coyle has the story. New at 6.30. In order to appreciate life on the outside, you have to go on the inside. At the Washington Correction Center for Women, life is about routine, restrictions, and rehabilitation. The class crustacea. For inmates, that rehabilitation also comes through education. So we have the joint footed animals. Retired professor Frank Witt is a guest lecturer in horticulture. Several different groups. I can see uh, so many. Uh, Youngsters here that found the wrong path to begin with, hoping that maybe we can change that. A lot of us in here, when we get out, it's hard to get a job and stuff because we're felons. Carla, Portia, and Desiree are all serving sentences for murder. While they're here, they're also earning a basic education and vocational skills. It gave me a future to look forward to. Washington Community Colleges and Correctional Facilities want to take that one step further. I would like us to have an opportunity to provide more than just vocational programs. By offering two-year degrees. Doing so, say supporters, the recidivism rate of more than 30 percent drops dramatically to 10 percent. Right now it's about $2,000 to educate an inmate. Compare that to $34,000 to house an inmate here for one year, which raises an obvious question. You hear that? Well, I guess I'll have to commit a crime in order to go to prison to, to uh, get an education. If they expect us to be different, you know, people and to show that we're different, then give us just that chance to take the education as far as we want to take it. And if you want us to go back into life and not reoffend, then you're going to have to help us some. Okay, we'll still be cool at the end. But Learning their lesson for the crimes they committed, and in this case, a lesson in the future they still have. In Gig Harbor, Meg Coyle, King 5 News. If the legislature votes to expand the program, inmates would likely pick up the cost for books and tuition at a graduated rate. Taxpayers would foot the bill for administration and instructors.